You started out this company with six dancers. Yes. It's now grown after 20 years to. I've oh. heard that you've basically had around 300 members come more through. More or less. Yes, more or less. Well, about 300 come through. And then Some they them... span the globe. Uh huh. Tell uh -huh. us about that. Well, out of the six dancers, we eventually had the need. Um, when I started to do bigger works, we started like um, about three or four years onwards after the inception in 1988, I had the need for more bodies because I had to do more bigger work. And the commercial demand was so much and, and uh, the demand became so that they would like a mass, mass of dancers on stage at the time. So um, I had to expand the membership. We, there was a point where we were about 23. And then it would it would balloon and it would reduce like like you know like all our diets that we do every year in and year out. Um, it would come down to seven, it go up to sixteen, it would come down to thirteen, it would go up to sixteen again, and back to nine, and so on and so forth. And out of that progression, the turnover actually resulted to about three hundred more or less. And um, some of them are now practicing. Like one of my dancers in Spain is um, is a practicing. Uh, instructor for fitness and is the is a leading aerobic marathon winner in the in the European circuit. I have dancers in in the U.S. Um, not all of them practicing dancers. I have one practicing dancer in the U.S. who is now uh, teaching at the Edge in L.A. Um, one of those dancers who trained with me for three months from Canada uh, eventually joined the show of Celine Dion. On Las, in Las Vegas and is currently, after that show, is currently now the artistic director for Mystère, the original Cirque du Soleil show in okay. Las Vegas. Yes. Um, I have a, several, not, not a few, but a majority of the dancers, the active uh, performing excellent dancers in the Disney, in the Disney world in uh, Hong Kong are all from Power Dance. So, um, Quite a good track record. Uh, there's there's Para in Australia. There's um, there's several others. In, there's uh, Rico in New York. I can name quite uh, well. It makes my my vacations very easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, not only least. that, but Power Dance itself has how many countries have you performed in now? Power Dance itself has performed in um, about four or five European countries. Uh, in the U.S. extensively, in about about ten states, uh, in Asia, practically like four countries in Asia, and uh, recently we were in Paris to perform for for the for the unveiling of the book for the Philippine Golden South Sea Pearl. That was for the government and for a private firm. Okay. So um, we did we did a finale stint in in Japan for the Asia Dance Festival which featured well-known groups all over the world. And uh, I competed in Saitama in 1998, no, 1999, and won the Grand Prix in the Saitama International Creative Dance Concourse, which had 73 countries competing. And uh, out of that, it gave me the grand prize, and it is the one and only grand prize still in Philippine history to date. Now, power dance is kind of unusual in a lot of ways. One of them is that when you talk about any other uh, dance companies, uh, artistic directors come and go. Mm -hmm. But power dance has only one Douglas. Yes, it was founded on me, and I think, but I hope it will not die with me. <laughs> but uh, you see, power dance has a very strict has a very strict rule of, of, of existence. It has in the Philippines. It's very difficult to have a company that is not based on a personality. And always, in all kinds of endeavors, especially even corporate endeavors, have basic personalities that stick to the item or the, or the, or the product, and, and it stays that way. And, and it's demanded. I would, like, I would love to share hands, and, you know, but the problem being, where, wherever you go and wherever your work is demanded of, they always ask for whoever is identified with the product. Sure. And that, happens, that has happened to me. Well, this has been my dream, actually, and it's been my life. And I don't mind being in it. I do hope that somebody else will take over after um, when I do decide to retire and, and have fun. Mm -hmm.